Match day one for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Who will make a statement in this, the opener? Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Lusail Stadium, just about 10 miles to the north of Doha here in Qatar. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Portugal facing Ghana. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio is the keeper. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. William Carvalho starts alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's the Ghana starting 11. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. The three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And they kick off here. William Carvalho. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, prior to the last 20 years, Portugal were infrequent visitors to the World Cup. All that has changed. We always expect them to be there. And frankly, we expect them to be involved in the business end of the tournament. Well, we know they have good players. In fact, very good players. They've also got a coach that knows how to win football matches and they can challenge anybody when they play at their best. They're certainly a team to watch in this tournament. Farsi. Wonderfully weighted pass. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. Rafael Leao. And it's Ruben Dias. Fernandes. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what can he produce from here? No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. 
Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And Ronaldo wasn't going to miss this one. From that range, he was always going to score. What a well-constructed goal. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Andre Ayew, Williams, and well, he stopped them in their tracks. Rafael Leao. He's got to score! And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Yeah. And now the delivery. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. committed challenge and they need to get tighter and that was a very fine read being egged on by the crowd and the keeper showing tremendous command well there it is I'm not sure what all the fuss was about it wasn't even close in the end Who can they pick out? Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. It's one corner after another. Now sending it in. Not the best clearance. Well, no damage done. Bruno Fernandes and attempting the through ball Williams nicely cut out Guerrero Fernandes William Carvalho and there the attack ends for now Salis Abdul Samed. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Leal. Well, couldn't keep it in. They're really pressing their opponents. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, as you'll see, it's not a good pass out from the back. It's on the wrong side of the player he's trying to pass it to. It's intercepted and it's a good finish. Yes, of course it is, but it's not good defending all round. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Andre Ayew went in strongly to win the ball. Rafael Leao. Bruno Fernandes has it. Ronaldo. And back with Bruno Fernandes. 
Ronaldo. On to Bruno Fernandes. William Carvalho. Superbly read and executed. Parte. Kudus. And the emphasis is on creativity. And he read it well defensively. Silva. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Oh, good vision. Williams. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, it was a magical first-half performance from Cristiano Ronaldo. No doubt about that, Stuart. Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space. And his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat-trick in the second half. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Fernandes. It's with Ruben Neves. Bruno Fernandes. And Portugal moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And he read it well, intercepting it. And Bernardo Silva has it. And showing fine vision. Parte, really vital interception here. Could be a goal! Real excitement, a back-and-forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. level again here this has been quite the roller coaster ride Ronaldo Fernandes makes his way in field Ronaldo not to be this time Kudus Mohamed Kudus, an important interception. Bruno Fernandes, and Portugal moving the ball with purpose. And a very good challenge. And Bernardo Silva has it. William Carvalho. Bruno Fernandes, Bruno Fernandes! And the flag has gone up just when he looked ready to pounce, perhaps. Well, he was just too static in the end, which is a shame because that was a dangerous situation. Andre Ayew. Well, Portugal with the ball again. Joao Felix. It's with Guerrero. Fernandes. And here's Joao Felix. Deflected behind. Corner forthcoming. So a personnel change then.
and taken short. Ronaldo. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Andre Ayew. Now, what can they do from here? Well read to ease the pressure. Are you superb stop? <laughs> Delivering it. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. Amarty, in the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. This to put them back in front. What a performance! Well, here's the replay, and it takes a lot of courage to hit a penalty like that. The goalkeeper just moves out the way, and it goes down the middle. It's an excellent execution, but always risky. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Diesch, Ruben Neves. It's with William Carvalho. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Ronaldo being egged on by the crowd. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Andre Ayew. It's with Williams. Nicely cut out. Ronaldo, wonderful chance, and the keeper stretching to deny him. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. So the corner played into the box, and you need your defender to take charge. Neves, on to Ronaldo. And back with Bruno Fernandes. Timely intervention. Well, do they have a goal in the future? They're giving it a go. And you don't want to lose possession there. Well, it's the late show, and they are level again. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Are you? And a goal at this stage could be decisive. Williams must take the lead here. 
and collected tidily. And with that, the referee brings this contest to an end. All square here in what was a thoroughly compelling game. Stuart, your analysis. Well, it could have gone either way. I thought both teams were very positive, though, going hammer and tongs from the very start. And I think a draw is probably the fair result.